going on guys? It's Neil Bauman here with Parakeet. Today we're gonna do some more tips on mastering mobile and focus on the roof section of things. So we noticed in our last video that there was some sun that had a lot of play in the screen. You couldn't see what was going on, couldn't see what we were writing for. Uh, the roof was a flat roof. Not gonna be your typical scenario for most of us. Today we got a pitched roof, we got a pitched gable roof. It's about like a 312. Uh, it's got some damage to it actually. This is an older house. So this we felt that this would be a good house to get you guys a more in-depth training on how to estimate for a roof on site. Now remember, everything's gonna be on site here. You don't wanna go home and have to write this file up. Uh, again, you're gonna have to do some prep work before you get here. So go back and watch our earlier videos on how to set up the file. Because we have the roof drawing pre-made, ready to go in the file so we can estimate while we're up there. So let's get going, guys. Right, so the next thing I want to talk to you about too, the, and these ladder, I've tried a lot of ladders in my game, and this Gorilla, this brand here, oh man, this has been a dream. Just ease-wise, I love it. And all these trucks now, they got the little short beds, so we got what we got to do, but... I just found this to be the easiest ladder that I've used in my time, so... Gorilla's the brand, we'll probably put a little link for you guys to find it. I might already have it up. Alright. Let's head up. Alright, so first thing when I get to the top of my ladder, I want to do a couple things. I get my pitch. Usually use my shingle gauge if I find any loose shingles here. We got a couple here. Get my gutter measurements. Check my drip edge. Uh, I get my photos of how the gutter is attached is it spiked through the drip edge, uh, drip edge is it below it um in the insurance industry again if it, if it goes through the drip edge they'll they got some weird standards they'll remove and replace it versus detach and resetting so just good information to gather when you're at the top rung before you step up onto the ladder so get my pitch gauge out i do everything on here the app is actually called pitch gauge i'm sure a lot of you use it I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that with the sun, probably not, but it takes a little photo. 2.6 is what it's at, and just kind of documents it there. Pull out my shingle gauge. Slide it here. We got three tab. Shingles are about as cheap as cheap can get. Snap a picture of that. Alright, I'm ready to step up onto the roof. All right guys, now that we're up here, I like to try to get a good assessment of what's going on, where I can step, check for any sags, things like that, make sure everything's safe before I start moving on or about. Uh, so first, I'm gonna get my valley metal um, and floor it out here. We need to verify if the valley metal is there or not, if we need to replace it, if we need to apply new, it's ordinance and law. So we're either gonna remove and replace it if it's already there, or we're gonna allow for the valley metal if it's not there, because that is now the code in Florida. So step over here. Shove your buttons out. I'll kind of just flip my iPad upside down, get my camera down in there, snap my picture. If I don't want to stick my head out, I'll go back and look in here. Yep, she's got some valley metal. So now we know when I write my estimate that we're going to be allowing for the removal and replacement of the valley metal, not just applying for the valley metal. So now I'm ready to do my inspection. So. I like to do this and break it up into sections. Front slope, right slope, rear, left. What I do is, is I first do my overview and then I do all my damage of that slope. Then I know that I'm done with that slope when my next overview appears. So let me show you guys. So we'll start with our front. I got the 0.5 on on my camera. It gives you that best over, overview of the front slope. But this one's kind of big, so I'm gonna do this and this. Then I'm gonna go into my damage. Now, whoever looks at my report is gonna know all the photos that follow after that front slope overview photo is my damage shot. So for this one, she doesn't have too much. She's got a lot of broken seals. I don't think this front slope really has too much, but if you notice severe granule loss. So we wanna take a picture of that because when we go to write this roof, say if there's not a lot of damage on the roof, we need to prove that the roof uh, can be repaired or not. And just by looking at this roof, I'm telling you right now, uh, some of you are probably not gonna agree with me. I don't think it can be repaired. Some of you roofers will probably think otherwise. 
Uh, some of you insurance adjusters will think otherwise. It depends where you are within the spectrum, but uh, this thing cannot be repaired. So just getting pictures of my granule loss, showing that fact. Uh, I'm gonna move down to the right side here, checking it out. Again, not really any damage. Some broken seals a little bit. So I'll kind of document that. My arrow pointing at it. Now, when I put that in the photo report, I'll put a little header on there, a little note annotation on there saying, broken seals found throughout the front slope. And just checking around. Um, I'm not a big chalk guy. I know some people like the chalk. Some of you, there's no way around it. Um, I'm an insurance adjuster, so I don't have to chalk. As long as I have it properly annotated, I'm using the stick, I'm good to go. Roofers, I know you guys live and die by the chalk. Uh, so definitely bring your chalk up. So next, done with the front slope. Now I'm going into my right slope, right? Remember I talked about earlier getting your overviews. I step back, get my overview, assess the situation before I go running out. Over here, we have a severe sag and it is crazy. It's about a a half a foot drop i don't know if you can see it on the camera but we're not going over there uh this is a, another reason why i tell you to assess the situation before you go stepping into it what, what's around you power limbs severe sag if i step on that uh my ass is going through that roof <laughs> and i'm not paying for that so just gonna avoid that area and kind of just walk around and try to inspect the best i can without without getting over there over here again a lot of worn seals. This roof is just worn out, old, terrible ventilation. So I'm gonna notate this sag over here. Kind of try to point my arrow over there. That's why this uh, stick helps me a lot. Then I'll drop another little annotation in there saying, you know, severe sag, uh, FA or field adjuster, unable to inspect this area, just safety reasons due to safety concerns. I shouldn't be doing Yeah, I'm not even. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm not gonna risk it. So we're done with this side over here. Oh, we got like a missing tab over there. Hey, I'm just not comfortable with going back there. I'm just not gonna do it. So going to the left slope now. Again, want to get your good overview. Get up to the ridge. Get your overview. Then go into your damage. Again, same thing. Got some sagging over here. I'm really not trying to step over there, so I'm just gonna annotate that. Unsafe to walk. Just looking at the granules of the shingles here. There's not really any torn shingles or torn anything like that. Just a lot of broken seals. Depending on the carrier or what you're doing, uh, I've seen carriers that approve broken seals. I've seen them not touch broken seals. So it just kind of depends who you got fight or who you're fighting against, who you're fighting for, what side of the uh, fence you're on, all that good stuff. So we're gonna show you guys how to estimate this all the way through, and let's get into that. All right, so we're now on the roof here. We're gonna be estimating for this roof. Uh, bear with this design here, this drawing. I know it's not exactly what the roof is. We were just kind of putting this in as like a little sample for you guys to give you a good understanding, but same shape, so we'll be all right with it. So first, I wanna select the whole roof. If I touch up in the corner here, let me get my cursor on for you guys to help you see. All right, so I'm gonna grab right up here, lasso the whole roof. Now I'm gonna click up here in this tab. All right, now this is my inventory of what's going on in the roof. Oh, it's easy to see how it's broken up into roof one, roof two. So I need to make that a, a subgroup really quick. So I'm gonna click on this one, the settings down here, subgroup of roof one. This will just help me out. So whatever I put on the roof, it will go to the other side as well. So, all right, back up in here into the inventory. This is what we have in the roof, which is nothing at the moment. Search tab, you can search the individual items. Of course, you guys know me, I'm gonna use my macros. So it's a shingle roof. Now I'm just going through and deselecting what I do not need. So when I got up here, I got the tarp in here. You guys see up here, I didn't see a tarp on the roof, so I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, let's just go through, uh, here's tear off. And I believe this is the laminate. And then this is the three tab. And I think it's a three tab roof. So we're gonna get rid of the laminate. 
Uh, we're in Florida on some roofs. You're able to get uh, come back in and replace with laminated. So we're just going to leave the laminated now for for uh, training purposes. Uh, and as for the sheathing, we saw that dip in the roof over there. So we can apply for or allow for some square footage of that because I'm going to think I'm thinking that that's going to need to be re uh, repaired uh, along with the truss system down below it. But again, for the sake of training, we'll just uh, show you guys how to add in for some sheathing. Uh, in Florida, we have a code to allow to renail, complete renail. So I'm going to leave that there. Double coverage felt. We're not going to need the ice and water barrier. So let's go down. Drip edge, starter course, ridge cap, not high profile. Uh, continuous ridge vent, single over style. We did see that. As far as other vents, there's no off ridge. There's no continuous ridge uh, aluminum. There is some valley metal, no turtle, no turbine. All right, just going through and deselecting. This roof didn't have too much on it at all, really. No flashing or step flashing. Digital satellite, but there's a still a satellite there. We're gonna have to detach and reset. No solar panels. You see, I have everything in there that you're gonna need. Steep charges for any situation I can go into. So a lot of this is gonna be deselected. Uh, me, I, I, I allow for general labor for cleanup and then for basic ground protection too. I, uh, I allow for that as well. So I'm gonna come up here, hit plus, bam, added, 15 items added. I go over to the inventory. Now I'm just going through and editing the little uh, special things that I want to do and want to account for, uh, like your your roof items, your roof attachments, which we don't really have any of that. We have a continuous ridge vent shingle over style, which just by looking at it, it's about 20 feet there. So we're going to go into here. And we're going to do 20. Right. Done. Back. Cool, 20 feet. All right, start again. This is all coded in, so I really not gonna have to go through and do anything. It's all you know because the drawing's there. If you don't have the drawing of the roof, then yeah, you're gonna have to go off a roof report. But we did the drawing prior to going there, so uh, value metal that's not going to the calculation is not there. So if you guys see down here, look at valley length 59. It's got it right there, baby. Good to go. All right, what else we gotta? Uh, just here drip edge for some reason uh, the code's not up this is where you want to want to edit your macros and make sure that your codes are good in your macros so when you drop them in there uh, it automatically uh, enters in the quantities now sheathing uh, this we're gonna have to do ourselves because it was a little bit of space over there that was sagging I'm just gonna allow for uh, you're not good at math here. You can do a sheet with your times. Well, out for five sheets, 160. I will tell you that is my biggest weakness in math, but I don't I don't need to learn it. You know, I got that's what I got the tech for. So that is it for the roof. Look at that. That's it. Our total right up here, 30,000. This is the inventory of what's in there. We just estimated fully for this roof uh on top uh right on the roof now when we hop off we're good to go guys uh, thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe our channel if you guys want any tools that we use in the videos head out to our website parakey.us we now have all of our tools listed on there all the affiliate links even our inspector stick and it's just a good basis to get all the tools you need to start this storm deployment or if you're just getting into the field Again, like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any business inquiries, reach out to the email listed below at info at parakey.us, and we'll get back to you right away. Thanks for watching.